morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Chris Calabucas, and once again, we're coming to July from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups, the future, not necessarily those and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button, hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. It greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, I think it's finally time for us to give up driving. That's right, folks. Human beings cannot drive any longer. That's it. I think as an actual skill, human beings should not be allowed to drive any longer. Why do I say that? I don't know about you, but I have noticed that around me, everyone drives terribly, terribly. Nobody stops it. Now, notice this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna list a few things here, and I'd like you over the next week or so to think about these things that I'm telling you and think about if I'm right or not. Just just, just think about these specific things. It won't be a long list, but just think about it. The next time you're out driving, look for these signs. Stopping at stop signs. Does anybody ever stop at a stop sign? Have you ever noticed people stopping at stop signs? Unless there's somebody to stop for, like let's say you're coming to a four-way stop and there's other people in the intersection. If there is nobody in the intersection, people just roll on through. They zoom on through. They just look to see if there's anybody there and then they zoom on through. Nobody stops at four-way stops anymore. Nobody. Nobody. And I don't know whether it's because people are lazy or they're distracted on their phones or they have those uh, cars that automatically shut themselves off when they hit to when they go to a stop sign and then they have to when they lift their foot off the brake then the car starts up again and maybe that's annoying to people I don't know what the reason is but people don't stop anymore the stopping in fact I've seen people run red lights I don't know if it's because they're distracted or what number two speed people either go way too fast or way too slow it's almost like the speed limit that's there is just a suggestion it's not just a suggestion it's the fastest you can go but it's also doesn't say to you that you can go 20 30 miles below the speed limit the speed limit is where your recommended speed should be sure they call it a limit but that's kind of where you should be if the speed limit on a street is 50 miles an hour, then you should be going around 50 miles an hour. A few miles over or a few miles under is fine. But if you're going way under, you're becoming a, an obstacle to people on the road. And if you think about it, when you're driving a car, you're actually in a community. You're, you're actually, a, it's like being at a party, right? If you're at a party, there's all these other people around. And just because you're inside of a vehicle doesn't mean you're not around other people. You're around other people. Cars are an extension of you. So the way you act in your automobile, and it's even more difficult to act, act in an automobile because there's no ver verbal cues or visual cues from you. So people have to watch your automobile to try and figure out what you're going to do. And if you don't slow down, if you don't speed up, if you don't signal, if you don't do things, then people aren't going to figure it out. And that's number three. Who signals anymore? Nobody signals anymore. When somebody's trying to make a left turn, a right turn, whatever, we have to try and read your mind or read this position of the car to try and figure out, are you going to do this or are you not going to do this? People do not communicate their actions any longer. And we all, as observers, have to look at you and try and figure out, what is this guy trying to do? So those are the three things I'm asking you to look for. There's lots more, but I'm not going to ask you look for any more. Do people stop at stop signs anymore? Do people speed at the right speed? And do people use signals anymore? Because each of those things are things that will keep us safer. And each of those things are things that things that people can decide to do or decide not to do. And that is why I feel because if you think about it, driving really is a rules based exercise. It is a system of rules that we put in place to make sure that people can get from point A to point B as quickly and as safely as they possibly can. Right? 
And if we can't get people from point A to point B safely and quickly, then there's something wrong, right? So if you ask me, this is a perfect job for AI. The sooner we can get people out from behind the wheel and AI behind the wheel, basically driving for you, the better we will be. If you ask me, the problem is not the autonomous vehicle, because everyone's talking about how autonomous vehicles can't do this and autonomous vehicles can't do that. And the reason why they can't do this and can't do that is because you've got it, they're dealing with irrational human beings. If everybody had an automated car, if everybody had an autonomous vehicle, suddenly there would be no more auto accidents because cars would know how to drive. They wouldn't cut corners like human beings do. They wouldn't not stop at stop signs. They wouldn't not signal. They wouldn't drive too slow or too fast. They would follow the rules of the road. And if you think about it, that is how we all get along on the road by following the rules of the road. Now, if you're an asshole at a party, people aren't going to want to be around you. If you're an asshole when you're driving, you could cause a serious accident. So that's why I say the sooner we can get people away from behind the wheel, the better. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.